Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakhak Dash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the Lord ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom the Lord ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. To you all, I say greetings and shalom. Uh, you men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth, and you believers out there, all right? Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Uh, brought to you through the spirit and power. How about you, Yasha? All right, so I have this article here uh, from BBC News. Um, it says uh, the C virus, the Crown Royale, Germany to go into lockdown over Christmas. All right, so this is where we're starting to see these uh, different nations uh, shutting back down. All right, and we're seeing that, that mirth uh, being taken away from uh, these people. OK, because we're living in times where everybody's they look. What are some of the highlights of the year that people look forward to? You know, it's it's always uh, around the holidays, especially during uh, the winter holidays. Like, you know, of course, we got July 4th and uh, Valentine's Day. But the main ones people look forward to are like uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas and uh, New Year's. Right. And so they're planning on sh uh, Germany. Is shutting this back down for so-called Christmas and so-called New Year's, right? Um, so I'm going to read a little bit of this article. I probably got like four scriptures that I want to get. Um, it says, Germany is to go into a hard lockdown over the Christmas period as the number of deaths and infections from the sea, the sea Royale reaches uh, record levels. Non-essential shops will cross will close across the country from Wednesday, as will schools with children to be cared at for at home wherever possible. The chancellor and see, that's what they call their uh, like president over there uh, in Germany. Chancellor Angela Merkel. And I, I didn't know. I believe she's been serving for like 14 uh, years or something like that. I didn't know they had, uh, you know, different countries do run things differently. You know, like our president can only have. Uh, the well, the president of America can only have a four year tenure, you know. But uh, here, I guess she can do 14. But see, this is our reign what our Lord is gonna be forever, okay? Yahweh Shai is gonna rule forever, Yahweh is gonna rule forever, you know. King David, uh, is, is gonna be an everlasting rulership. Our is gonna be our we shall rule forever and ever, according to Daniel 7 and 18. But anyway. Chancellor, Chancellor Angela Merkel blamed Christmas shopping for a considerable rise in social contacts. So now they're saying people shopping around looking for stuff is the reason why uh, the, the the numbers are going up. Man. You know, they could be fluffing this or whatever, man. But you, you so-called Germans, man, you're Edomites, too, according to the Bible. There are Israelites that are scattered amongst you. All right. But uh, you, you Germans are 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 through man you're edomites and the scripture says you're going to be destroyed too okay uh and i'm going to get a couple of scriptures on that actually it says uh the latest i mean i'm gonna read up to this second paragraph right here the latest figures show 20,200 20, more infections and a further 321 deaths the new luck lockdown will run from the 16th of december to the 10th of january announcing the move after meeting leaders of the country 16 states Mrs. Merkel said there was an urgent need to take action. Okay, so they're they're that's basically the holiday season. Okay, so people aren't going to be, they, and they, you know, this is the second article I read on this. The other one was talking about how you know, no large engagements and stuff like that. So, hey man, you people are going to be sad. You ain't going to be turning up and partying, you know. But let me get uh, I'm gonna get this one first. This is Amos one and twelve. It says, but I will send a fire upon upon the teeming which shall devour the palaces of Basra you know and according to the scriptures you um you Germans are teemanites well that's a uh, a subcategory low will but I'm, uh, if you if you can receive it because you're all edomites all you so-called white people that are not that are not israelites by blood you are known as edomites in the bible you're the wicked of the earth okay and so the Temanites is like your your subcategory, if you will. But that's uh, you know, it talks about the prudence of the the Germans. You know, when you read uh the scriptures, and you think about the way of the world, and think about like uh Germany and how uh, Adolf Hitler was trying to conquer such a large portion of the earth. You know, you have to uh 
kind of think because Germany isn't a large country. All right. It's uh, relatively like I'm not saying it because there's a lot of other uh, European countries that are smaller than it. But on a scale, it's like quite small. Like uh, you have uh, uh, Russia. Russia has to be, I don't know, 30 times the size of uh, Germany. Uh, you know, France is larger than Germany. Um, Spain, maybe, uh, you know, uh, Kazakh, uh, Kazakhstan is larger than Germany. Um, uh, you know, there are just a lot of them, just a lot of them. It's really what I'm Turkey is larger than Germany, you know. Um, but let me get this. This is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20. It says, therefore, hear the, the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom. So the Lord has, has got a, a problem with you Edomites. It says, and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. You see that? So you, you Temanites, you're going to be destroyed, man. You Edomites are going to be destroyed by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. And the least of the flock shall draw them out. All of these, the smaller nations, you know, they're, they're getting, um, they're getting together, even even Germans, man, you know, they they have, uh, you know, with their industries and the things that they're able to create and their wisdom that they have over there, you know, because there are Edomites that are, are wiser than other Edomites. Like, you know, your your typical German uh, Edomite is going to be able to do things better than a redneck here in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? There are levels to Edomites, just like there are levels to Israelites. You know, you have. Uh, the level, even amongst the, the one third in the elect, you know, you have uh, like the apostles, if you will. And then you have uh, brothers and then you have uh, um, brothers who may have just found out. Then you got the two thirds of the nation of Israel. You know, there are there are levels to it, man. All right. Um, but, you know, all of these is basically meant to uh, go towards World War Three, you know. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So, hey, all this is heading towards World War Three, And that's when you read like Ezekiel 38, all these other nations taking hold on uh, Russia, you know, and all of these. At the end of the day, all of these countries are going to be against Babylon. The great are going to be against America. OK, that's the end result. You know, actually, let me jump up to Jeremiah 49 and 7. It says concerning Edom, thus said the Lord of hosts is wisdom no more in Teman. Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? You know, so there's a level of um, a wisdom. You always say the uh, the wisdom uh, the the wisdom of the children of the wicked were wiser than Daniel. I'm roughly paraphrasing that, but you know what I'm saying. There are some some really let's say bright uh, Edomites out here, man. So don't don't get that confused either. They wicked, but th that's why you know. They'll, they'll sit up and try to be try to overthrow the poor. OK, let me go now to Amos, the fifth chapter, because you people now with, without your holidays, what are you going to do, man? Without your your turn ups on Christmas, without your turn ups on New Year's, for which are all in paganism and wickedness. What are you going to do, man? This is Amos five. And. Uh, and I'm thinking of another verse. But this says, uh, uh, I hate, I despise your feast days and I was not smelling your solemn assemblies. I'm trying to think there's another one that said, um, actually, let me go ahead and find it. Cause so lucky. So yeah, we know that that's when it was reading that from Amos, the fifth chapter, you know, those are things that, uh, the Israelites used to take part in, but now it plays on a larger scale. For these worldly holidays and things that the Israelites are taking place in now, you so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics. But this is the verse I was looking for. Uh, this is Amos 8 and 10. It says, I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. You see that? So this is. What's happening now? You know, this is talking about the sons of Israel, the nation of Israel, but this is applying to the world, man. Okay, because even personally, I have uh, 
holidays and when I realized I no longer celebrate them, but the Lord had changed them to, you know, sad things that happened to family members and in my life on certain uh, holidays, so-called holidays, like on Thanksgiving, you know, on my birthday, things have happened in my past to where now those are days of mourning. Those are no longer days of happiness and supposed to be joy. But see, that's the Lord tearing us away from this earth. But nonetheless, this is uh, happening to uh, the world now, turning your feast in the morning. Now you're sad on Christmas because you can't go get all your presents or you can't have a party. You know, New Year's, you're not going to have no damn drop of the ball celebration here in Germany. You know, and who knows? It might happen here in America, too, man. You know, they're about to unleash this uh, Maxine tomorrow. It says, and I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. All right. Lamentation goes into like sorrow and woe, man, to lament, to be, uh, you know, saddened. You know, it says, and I will bring sackcloth upon all loins. All right. Which you sackcloth upon all loins is a garment that you wear for when you're in mourning. And that's why we wear sackcloth at camp. You know, uh, it says and baldness upon every head, because when you were uh, when something uh, bad happened to you or your people, when people would sorrow and mourn, they would cut their heads. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. Right. The morning of an only son. So when you have like an only child and then they get killed, you know, it feels like uh, that end is a bitter day. Like you feel destroyed. And that's what the spirit has happened to you. The Lord said he's taking he's removing the mirth from this place, man. There's going to be no more mirth. Uh, and see, this is all the flotation off the the vibration of America. OK. Um. Let me see. You know, this is this is the vibration that that uh, that is leading from Babylon, America unto all these other nations, man. All right. That's what the Lord says. The the, the golden city is ceased. OK, so it's not going to be any more of this this holiday. See, that holiday spirit is, is like I'll be saying zapped, man. Shit is gone. OK, let me see if I can get any more on this. Uh it says under the national lockdown, essential shops such as those selling food will stay open as can banks outlets selling Christmas trees can also continue trading. See, they let that wickedness continue. All right. Matter of fact, let me get Jeremiah 10 real quick, you know, because I ain't trying to make this a Christmas lesson, so to say, but might as well grab it. I ain't pulled it out in a while. This is Jeremiah 10 and two. It says, thus saith the Lord. Actually, I started one. Hear ye the word. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, you're not supposed to be following after the way of the so-called white man, after the way of the so-called Asian man. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be following the ways of the Bible because the Bible is too foreign about the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Okay? And woman and child. All right? It says... um, you know, so they're they're perplexed when they see uh, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses and blood moons. We understand that these are all things that happen that are going that are resulting in the, the end of the rulership of uh, Esau, Edom, ruling the earth where we're going to reign next. It says for the customs of the people are vain for one. For one cut at the tree. One one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. See that? That's what they do with Christmas tree. They get somebody to go out and cut it down. What did, what did, what did I just read? It says Christmas trees can also continue trading, right? So they get the axe. They go out and they cut it out. They deck it with silver and with gold, all right? And they put all them ornaments on it and, um, you know, which is really a fat. The tree is a phallic symbol in that sense. And then they put a uh, sperm on it. By the, the, de the decorations are supposed to be symbolic of sperm and fertility. It says they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also it is in do good. So there's our idol gods that people go and worship to. And they literally bow down to them uh, during Christmas time, you know. But, uh, you know, like I said, I don't want to make this a Christmas lesson, but uh, they what the, this. Oh, that's Chancellor Merkel right there. 
And she she stated something in the other article that basically said uh, if if uh, Germany doesn't stop now, they're going to be the I forget the word that she used. Oh, there it is. If we're not careful, German Germany could quickly become Europe's problem child. But very oh, that's what the prime minister said. Bavaria's prime minister Marcus Soder warned. For that reason, we had to and we must act. He did not rule out Germany extending lockdown beyond tenth of January. So hey, man, this is these lockdowns are coming. These uh, this holiday spirit is getting shut down, and we're glad for that, man, because the quicker these things get shut down, the quicker our Lord comes back. The quicker quicker you people take that chip, the quicker everything goes into the plan of the Lord, man. All right, we're all walking to the tune of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai's beat, regardless if you know that or not, regardless if you admit it or not. The Heavenly Father and His Son are returning to the earth soon to destroy you Edomites and put you in slaves and slavery, to destroy you two thirds of our people who continuously want to be like Edomites, who continuously want to be celebrating Christmas and these holidays, and will not, and refuse to return to the Lord, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Shalom.